Jan Ernst Montsalier was born on September 15, 1852 in Dutch Guiana in South America, now known as Suriname. His father was a Dutch engineer and his mother was a house slave of African descent. Jan Ernst Montsalier showed early talent for working with machines and mechanical devices. At 10 years old, he was working in one of the machine shop that his father owned. At the age of 19, he left Suriname to sail the world and later immigrated to the United States and settled in Philadelphia. Due to racial discrimination he struggled to make a living in Philadelphia. In 1877 he moved to Lynn, Massachusetts and found work at a shoe factory. At the time shoes were made by hand. For proper fit, molds of customers' feet had to be made with wood or stone called lasts from which the shoes were sized and shaped. The process of shaping and attaching the body of the shoe to its sole was done entirely by hand. This was considered the most difficult and time-consuming stage of assembly. Jan Ernst Motsalier set out to find a solution to this problem. He thought that there had to be a way to develop an automatic method for lasting shoes. He experimented with wooden molds, iron models and finally in 1883 he received a patent for his invention of an automated shoe laster machine. The first automated shoe making machine, that quickly attached the top of the shoe to the sole. The machine had the capacity to produce 700 pairs of shoes in a day, 10 times what human hands could create in a day. Understanding that he couldn't do much with it, without financial assistance, he sold two-thirds ownership of the device to investors Charles H. Denlow and Melville S. Nichols to provide funding and founded Consolidated Lasting Machine Company. In years that would follow he gave up what was left of his patents and exchange of stock in the new company. In the late 1890s the company merged with several companies to form the United Shoe Machinery Corporation, which dominated the United States shoemaking industry. 65 years later the company was worth over $1 billion. Jan Ernst Motsalier sacrificed his health, working exhausting hours on his invention, often going without food, so he could afford materials, that he put his health at a greater risk. Tragically he caught a cold which quickly developed into tuberculosis and died on August 24, 1889, in Lynn, Massachusetts. He did not live long enough to see the impact of his lasting machine on the shoe industry. Jan Ernst Motsalier revolutionized the shoemaking industry with his invention, increasing shoe production a thousandfold which in turn made high-quality footwear more affordable to people around the world. The core principle of his invention remained unchanged, still in use in shoe factories around the world to this day. In 1901, the Pan American Exposition awarded him their gold medal and diploma. In 1984, the governor of Massachusetts named a bridge in honor of Jan Ernst Motsalier. A Black Heritage postage stamp was issued in Jan Ernst Motsalier's honor on September 15, 1991.